You can tell right away the amazing chemistry that mm -hmm. Diona Barris, Brie Larson, and Iman Bellani share in the movie. Mm -hmm. How was the moment where the first come together on set? I mean, it was really fun because, in ways, they like mirror their characters in the movie. Like Iman's like the young, enthusiastic, super Marvel fan. Brie's like the old hardened. You know, she's done a couple of these already, been around the block. And then Tiana is like this really erudite, um, specific, focused. Um, funny uh, person, so they kind of mirror their, their character. So it was really fun to see them all together for the first time and to rehearse with them and, um, and to figure out that, the dynamic that we, that we set. Yeah, those dynamics and that chemistry, did that allow um, some room for improvisation? For sure, yeah. Yeah, I love when actors, I mean, we get what's on the page and then it's like, okay, let's, let's we have more time, let's, uh, let's play around here, let's find some more jokes, let's, you know, find some, some deeper intimacy here. Yeah, did you remember any moment? Do you remember any moment that was improvised or mm -hmm. the moment? Let's see. Oof, there's a oh, it's not, you didn't see it in this, but there's a there's a scene, a pretty pretty intense emotional scene between um, Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau in the film because they finally have to confront like what what we kind of saw in that look in Wandavision, and when we we were rehearsing, um, we just, we just improvised some stuff and it was some really beautiful like heart-rending things that the two of them kind of were able to create and, and say to each other that ended up in the, fi in the final film um, that I'm really proud of. So I can't say exactly what it is, but it's that scene in particular I think was really, really great, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, mm. So uh, this is the shortest MCU movie, which is something that, oh, you know, it's been talking great. about. Great, I love that. Lately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so how, how did you settle in this uh, short run, compared to obviously the other it's Marvel a, It's movies. over an hour and 45, isn't it? An hour and 45, yeah, it's the shortest. Yeah because I really wanted it to be under two hours. <laughs> um, I, um, I always think about runtime actually when I go into a film and I just feel like there's no need to, if you don't need to have it be like long, because 145 is pretty average for a movie. Um, so we were all really excited. Like when we were like, yeah, 145, yes. Like it was really great. Yeah. You think it fits, it fits better the mm. spirit of the movie? Maybe. I just think it's you do what's right for the movie. Like I wasn't really interested in trying to fit into. Like I didn't even know about this runtime thing until I think it was reported on. Um, you just do what's right for the movie. Yeah. I love to see Goose the Cat mm -hmm. back. <laughs> the Florkin. And... <laughs> the Florkin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he has a lot of presence so as far as we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. So how was? I'm sure it was challenging yeah. working with cats on set. So mm -hmm. what do you? remember of shooting with cats and what's the most memorable moment you remember of that? Um, yeah, I love Goose um, as a character. It's funny, we had two cats who, who played her in the film, uh, Nemo and Tango, and one was like kind of looked angry all the time but was really nice and the other one looked nice but was kind of angry all the time and um and it was really amazing watching them like jump on someone's shoulder or press a button um but then there was one set we had that was basically kind of like sandy so it felt like a giant litter box and that set they were like we're gonna just do whatever we want here so that was one of the more difficult days where they're just like we're in a litter box why would we do work um but it was it was also really fun when they got it right like the whole crew was like yes like those were like the best the best days <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's great um so it's mm. amazing to see this sisterhood created mm. between the characters and i feel like we can see them uh, being silly and, and being fun but also kicking ass do you think this movie breaks new ground for um this side of female superheroes in Marvel movies? Um, I mean, we have, we also have um, Black Widow, her movie, um, and I think we, we get to add to that kind of history that, that, they're, that they're starting to really dig into now with like women beating the shit out of each other, uh, <laughs> which we do a lot of in this film, which is really exciting for me because I love fight scenes. So I was really excited to do like, like I think the, the first fight scene and big set piece in the film that you guys see that I love, um, I'm really proud of. Like that, that to me is like, is just something you haven't seen before in, in the MCU because of the nature of like the switching and all that stuff. So that was really exciting. And is there something that mm -hmm. you would like to include you in the movie and mm -hmm. you didn't go to do it? Oh, for sure. There's so, so much on the cutting room floor all the time and there's so many like, because of the way they do it, like things are always shifting. It's like, oh, we can't do that now actually because this. And so there's, there's there are some things that, um, that I wish had been in the film that, you know, made their way out. Um, yeah, absolutely. But I can't talk about any of them because, you know, <laughs> secrecy. <laughs> <laughs>